suffering is the truth. Nothing more. So welcome back to the channel, friends. Hi, I'm Lita. And um, I'm a little tired today. So we're going to keep it short. Today's reading is just going to be um, encouragement. Encouragement for you, okay? You have four choices. We have one, two, three, and four. All right. And while you're taking a moment to look at that, I want to say thanks to everyone that has subscribed to the channel thus far. I had the best month I've had since I've been on YouTube, which is two years. This month is my two year anniversary, YouTube anniversary. So thanks, guys. It's been great spending two years with you all. And I just want to make sure you all know it. Uh oh, my battery's dying. Let me switch it out and I'll finish up with my spiel. Interesting how my battery died. <laughs> When I told y'all that I was tired, my battery is about to die in real life, okay? So, like I was saying, um, it's been wonderful spending the last two years with you guys. I have learned so much about myself. I have learned so much about humanity. And above all, I've learned so much more about divination. And um, I want to thank you guys for that. And if you find yourself watching this video and you haven't subscribed as of yet, I'll ask you the same question that I ask everybody in my videos. Why the fuck not? Okay? It's free. It's fun. And we get in the facts. Okay? So, hopefully everyone has taken a moment to choose their group. I'm going to push these just up. That's how I'm going to do it today. And let's get into the encouragement for group number one. Okay? So, your mermaid card says, Rescue. Help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it, okay? Let me look at the other three before I decide what this means, okay? So we have the four character, which is um, the loot or leisure. We have the five of circles, which is a dragon, okay? Sun, um, white, well, it's a dragon. And the last card that we have is the five of character, which is the home, okay? Um, It's like, you need a break. Basically, the cards are saying that you need a break, all right? But what they want you to know is, in way of encouragement, is that <sighs> taking a break for you or doing something that you enjoy actually brings luck into your home, okay? Um, things may ha be a little rough right now, and you may not be able to um, deal with the demand that's coming at you. And the cards are saying it's because you're depleted okay so when you see the rescue card it means start delegating some of the tasks to other people around you okay so that you can take a short break because as soon as you do it brings luck into your home okay it's going to make work smoother home smoother it's just going to make everything move successfully okay so the encouragement for you today is don't be afraid to ask for help okay because you're going to get it all right so i hope you enjoyed that quick little reading group number one if you did please leave me a thumbs up i hope it encouraged you all right um and feel free to leave a comment down below good and or bad and we're going to move right on into encouragement number two okay so your mermaid card says turbulence the mind is murky in rough waters okay all right let's see what the rest of it is so we have the house card again we have the peacock card all right and we have the plum blossom which has to do with like um romantic love um what else does the plum innocence inexperience or relief let's see home show me okay 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 Okay, so it looks like there's um, maybe some disagreements going on within your home, okay? And somebody is being real peacocky about it, being real cocky about things, okay? Um, showing off their power, just doing too much, all right? Um, I'm going to clarify this. I want to know why is the home showing up here. So we have success in the summer. So, 
okay so somebody's showing a home in particular somebody is um showing a home and the cards are telling you um you know stop overthinking it it will sell it will sell okay others of you why is this peacock here please okay for others of you this message is very similar to one you probably want to watch one okay but what it's saying is is that you're just doing too much in the home it's it's as if like um it's your home and you're so worried about how it looks and you want to make sure people know it's your home and it represents you or whatever but um you're overthinking it you're overthinking it it's just saying simplify simplify cut out whatever you can cut out simplify and uh, things will begin to blossom they'll begin to be sweeter and more beautiful um, for some of you it'll restore passion in your home okay so just stop overthinking so much all right relax don't worry about what others are thinking about what's going on and watch things bloom okay so i hope you enjoyed this encouraging word group too if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and we'll move into encouragement number three all right so your mermaid card says prudence don't be lured by the siren song okay so somebody's trying to influence you to do something Mm, look at this two jokers i saw this in someone else's personal reading today i wonder if they picked this group we have um the rat we have the ram and we have the north wind and the north wind is about conflict with authorities or you know being unlucky um things moving really slow Okay. I'm not sure. I want to clarify these two jokers. Why is the rat here, please? So we have the six of bam, which is communication. And why is the ram here? We have the nine of bam, which is being flexible. Okay, so your word of encouragement is this. Um, there seems to be some sort of a breakdown of communication between you and someone, right? And one of you is trying to be pushing, all right? And it's not going to work because it's like a ram, you know, you come up against a ram. They're going to come back even hard, okay? The word of encouragement today is learn how to communicate with someone a problem without attacking them okay without asserting the fact that you believe that your way of doing things is right um initially it kind of looked like someone was trying to convince you that what they're doing is right and it could be and what it's saying is is don't get pulled into power plays but it's starting to look more like maybe you're the siren and you're trying to make someone go along with your ideas and the word of encouragement is to learn how to be flexible okay Flexibility opens up communication. And the opposite of the north wind is the south wind. And the south wind is success. If you learn how to communicate, right, in a pleasant manner, in a way that gives instead of takes, and if you learn how to be flexible, you will find success. Okay? All right. So I hope you enjoyed that word of encouragement, group three. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And we're going to move into our last word of encouragement, which is group number four. Okay? Hmm. Alright, so let's see what we got going on here. So your mermaid card says, Protection. Keep some aquamarine close. Mermaid's tears have been known to create these precious gems. Okay? So some of you, um, if you have aqua aquamarine, you uh, probably will want to uh, either sleep next to it, wear it, uh, keep it in your, keep it close to you, okay? Because you need some protection of some sort, all right? 
The three of circle is the heaven and earth card or the phoenix card. It has to do with um, the joyous coming together of heaven and earth. Uh, the one of um, bam. I don't know why I couldn't think bamboo. The one of bamboo is the peacock. It has to do with success, pride, and vanity. And then we have another three, okay? The three of bamboo, which has to do with um, healing. All right. So what is the word of encouragement? I think I, I think I have an idea of what they're saying. This is Okay, so for some of you, this has to do with looking good and feeling good, okay? It's like um taking pride in your appearance. And taking pride in the things that you do um, actually create joyous energies okay and joyous energy is healing energy okay so I'm feeling like you may be under some sort of psychic attack and um, the first call because of the vanity here and the healing is to take a spiritual bath okay um, and a spiritual bath could be as simple as you getting in the shower and um washing down in soap i mean in salt okay in salt to remove negative energy it could be as elaborate as actually creating a spiritual bath with a bunch of herbs and oils or whatever you may need to balance out but the encouraging word is that whatever attack you've received it can be healed and it's going to be healed in a way where you're enjoying something okay it's going to be um something um e something sensually pleasing it's either going to be something beautiful it could be as simple as buying something nice for yourself and um that creates healing energy um or it could be enjoying uh, a family outing um, enjoying time with a lover So the encouraging word is, is to do something enjoyable. But please, please, please cleanse yourself, okay? Because you have sustained an attack, all right? But you can heal yourself is what it's saying, okay? And that's the encouraging word today. So I hope you enjoyed this message, group four. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And this is going to conclude today's reading. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you enjoy your path today. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. So thanks for being with me, Smalls. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all next time.